right size. I can't, I can never feel not. Yeah, I don't want to put all my weight on here. Brian Diglio, I'm the head girls coach at North Rockland High School. We're down here at the track today. We're gonna do a uh, moderate sort of workout. We're doing four by one mile, threshold pace, 90 second recovery. It's a good kind of test to see where their fitness is. We're not looking to see how fast they are. We just wanna kind of check their fitness level and get ready. They got a time trial coming up on Friday. Today's workout is all about pace and recovery. It's short recovery, okay? The pace is not super fast. If it feels easy and comfortable, that's fine. Be happy about that because that shows that you did good work over the summer and you're in a good place right now, okay? If it feels a little bit harder, and for some of you, the recovery is what's going to get you. We're only getting 90 seconds in between them, okay? That's what will trouble you, okay? But what we wanna work on when we're running these threshold miles is a consistent, even pace. When we're done with the threshold miles, you're gonna jog again for a little bit, and then those of you who want to put on spikes or something like that, we're going to finish with the snappy little 400 and 200. I'll give you the paces for those, okay, so we can get our legs turning over a little bit. But again, remember, our big effort this week is the time trial on Friday. Today is all about just hitting our numbers. Caitlin, you're going four in 540. So that's 85 a lap, 85, 250, 415. Good. All right, bring your water bottles over to the starting line, and then let's get started. Here we go. Smart and controlled. Set, go. Set, go. Too fast. Back it down. 40. 75. Stay under control. I only want 85 today. 80, 81, 82. No faster than that. The girls have had a pretty good summer of training. It was a different summer for Caitlin because we had her take a month off at the end of the spring season. And that was one of the harder challenges that I've had as a coach. Uh, it's the longest she's ever taken off as a runner. 45, 46, that's good. She had to deal with, you know, what the rest of us feel like when we take time off and getting back into shape. So this summer was a different summer for her. It's going really well now. She's feeling good, she's feeling strong, and we're trying to bring her on, along a little bit more slowly than we have in the past. 534, 535, good. Stay there. The big thing for her that we're working on right now is to one, stay under control, and two, make sure that her easy days are easy. Set, go. Dealing with an injury and taking time off is not something that she was used to. So it was another learning experience, which was really good for her. I, I think she grew a lot from the spring. In the past, it's been a little bit of a struggle to maintain her top level through championship season. I think this month off protects us nicely and will kind of protect us against ourselves. 30, 32. Not the hardest workout. We got a big one on Friday, so I guess. Not pushing it hard today, so I can kill Friday's workout. Um, everyone else is doing a two-mile time trial, and apparently I have a hard workout, so we'll see what that is on Friday. <laughs> Coach didn't tell you what it is yet. You just know it's gonna be hard. Yeah. Nice. So I bring light weights. So I say now it's gonna be a little fast. Set. Go. pretty good. It was a little humid. I was supposed to hit 540. Uh, it was a little fast, but I wanted to get faster each one, so I started off at 535. Eight, back it down a little bit. Got down to, I think, 525, so it wasn't too bad of a workout. It was more just, you know, maintenance work. It's early in the season. It's August. We have until December, so we're not trying to kill it right now. 05, 06, no faster. Thirty. Thirty-two. I thought the workout went well. You know, when I talk to people about coaching Caitlin and everybody wants to talk about the races, I always tell them that my favorite part always is the workouts because getting her to see her do it day in and day out, what she's able to do is, it's a lot of fun for me as a coach, you know. You write up workouts with a specific goal and you hope the girls can kind of hit them. With her, she's kind of like a metronome. When you write it up, she's gonna run it the way that you want or faster. I've been coaching a long time and it's a special thing to see. Set, 
go. No faster on this. I always let the girls set the goals, and they said that they would really like to try and get back out to Oregon. And the season's all for the girls. I'm not prioritizing my individual goals for the team goals. Uh, the team's my top priority. And since I'm the captain this year, I'm pretty much doing anything for them. If they want to go to nationals, I'm going to help them get there. 524, 525. Good. Uh, get a drink and then jog half mile. Caitlin has always, since the very beginning, been a team first girl. And I think that that's helped her a whole lot in terms of not letting the attention focus on her as much and being able to turn to her teammates. This year, she fully understands that she's a senior and this is her last time going through it. Set, go. Every day, uh, we're just getting better and better. We're out here working hard as a team. Um, if we want to you know, make it out to Portland each year, we know that we need to put the work in now. North Auckland's definitely a team to look out for. We've been working hard and I expect us to do big things at the end of the year.